thinking about speed, yeah. I'm also thinking about circulation and distribution right. and kind of what makes that speed possible. So the scholars in rhetoric and writing have been thinking a lot more about circulation lately. Um, it's gone far beyond the original rhetorical situation, which is someone standing in front of a crowd speaking. Right. It would be kind of a very standard situation that could be taught based on the way that those situations repeat over time. Um, but in networked environments, something fundamentally different, or I kind of want to ask you if it's fundamentally different, because for millennia, you know, it's been paper, tablets, printed works, um, but these digital contexts raise questions about presence and absence, mm -hmm. um, materiality and immateriality, place and placelessness. Um, and I know, I, I know that your work deals with these issues um, in a lot of interesting ways. Um, but I think they, they also return us to these fundamental questions about writing, which we've sort of talked about. Um, I'm thinking now about what media studies can offer us. Um, Specifically, I want to pick your brain about this topic. Um, as someone who thinks about this kind of bleeding edge of media circulation, what questions should we be asking today um, about how texts circulate in digital contexts? Um, in contexts that are often thought to be virtual and placeless and absent of bodies. Right. So. Yeah. I mean, my view with the, the, yeah, the absence of bodies or whatever else, you know, that that's a little bit of a a sleight of hand, you know, that the emphasis, uh, we should always seek to return it to like the materiality of those infrastructures. Mm -hmm. You know, again, I mean, we've had this theme before, but you know, what, like Twitter, you know, Twitter, it's like little birds in the cloud and it's, you know, 140 characters and it's very lightweight, you know, but it's not, you know, you're, you're using it on a machine that, that is, has, you know, rare earth metals in it, you know, it's traveling over like an infrastructure that's required vast kind of earth moving you know it's it's stored in data centers that have climate control and you know mm -hmm. are, are have their own kind of atmospheres and you know there's, there's an immense and kind of heavy uh you know material presence behind you know these supposedly like lightweight things that we do um i like i like the the tension between like the idea of in the cloud mm -hmm. and then data mining <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, they're talking about the same thing, but like the metaphors like collide in like a, a productive way. Like you put up in the cloud and it's light and whatever. And it's like, no, we're extracting value. Like it's data mining. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so heaviness and lightness like, mm -hmm. you know, flow through this. Um, but in general, yeah, circulation. I think, you know, the last several years I've learned more and more about kind of affect theory mm -hmm. and how that relates right. to new media. And I think maybe that's productive to think about in this in this context that, you know, when you have this churn of social media, uh, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and like, you know, all these things, that there's a certain like volume and rapidity to all these things that uh, end up making it more about intensity mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and flows mm -hmm. than about kind of individual semantic messages, you know, from supposed people. So, so if we're talking about Again, like, you know, the perspective of an individual human, yeah, it's like presence and absence and virtual and what are you saying and are you there, are you not there or, but that might be a red herring to the larger issue of, of these, you know, yeah, kind of material flows of intensity that, you know, move between networks that, uh, you know, join together in some kind of, you know, bodily, corporeal, you know, sense, these, these different feelings or reactions to things or, mm. um, you know, you think about certain events, you know, whether they're, you know, horrible news events that happen that then spread through social media or, you know, certain joyous occasions or, you know, you know whatever else, uh, they are kind of measured in intensity, uh, measured in like, you know, the response and pull and, and, mm. and uh, flow of these things, you know, rather than, yeah, or, or like an oratorical, you know, mm -hmm. message of, of meaning. And all these services are designed to capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Facebook, uh, yeah, it, 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 it kind of, cap you know, capitalizes on, you know, our kind of base emotions in a, in a certain way, you know, mm -hmm. it's an appeal to these feelings of, 
belonging or not or mm. you know uh, uh, whatever else mm -hmm. and it seems like that would encourage more focus on the infrastructures themselves right if we're talking about flows and we're talking about intensities rather than my message to my friends or my political debate with someone on Facebook right um, it seems like those material infrastructures would become primary or would become at least um, a bigger subject of study yeah yeah, and we see, I mean, it's, it's very clear how, you know, this progression through which these writing technologies, you know, become closer and closer to the manifold of the body, right? Like, mm -hmm. it, you know, computer starts as something that's in a room that, like, you go to and you sit down and maybe you type up something you've already written and, mm -hmm. you know, and then it, that moves to, like, a personal computer, you know, that then you own, it's like in your house, you know, it's associated with your home or an information center. And then that transitions to like the laptop, you know, that moves around with you, you know, that, that you can work anywhere. But then they you know that then we turn to phones and tablets that now, you know, you don't carry it, it's kind of on you, it's in your pocket. Mm -hmm. And you start getting the buzz that like, you know, it's a very intimate thing, this thing mm -hmm. is vibrating in your pocket, like... Mm -hmm. It's a message, it's a text message, it has, you know, that kind of writing aspect to it, but it's also literally vibrating in your pocket, and you mm -hmm. get like a little thrill, right? Mm -hmm. There is some kind of response or excitement that happens, you know, when that happens. And then, okay, so then the phone, we, you know, we go to wearables now, mm -hmm. and we see, you know, companies like Apple, you know, advertising things like sharing your heart rate, you know, which is ridiculous on some level. But also really intriguing and, and uh, you know, maybe indicative of the intimacy that these things are creating. Um, you know, so we're measuring, you know, footsteps and heart rate and all this. And, you know, that starts to then move under the skin. And if we think about, you know, emotion or affect, you know, being this, in a sense, like negotiation of boundary, mm -hmm. you know, of territory, of, you know, my like opening this and you know incorporating something and remember I'm pushing it away or you know what what is that what does that feel like on the level of contact the fact that uh, these writing technologies these pieces of you know communication infrastructure are, are more and more present in that actual contact you know in that kind of you know, uh, you know material envelope of the self like where that where emotion happens you know, it's not, that's not accidental, like, that's, that's very much, uh, uh, the evolution of, of how these things go, like, that, mm -hmm. that there's less distance between infrastructure and the body, mm -hmm. uh, you know, than ever before, and there's some kind of desire for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, <laughs> that's where to look at it. Maybe, maybe it's, an, then we start thinking about writing with the body, maybe, mm -hmm. uh, or how these things act as yeah pressure pressure points or something, mm -hmm. you know rather than exchanges of messages. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, it's it's contact. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, that's a that's a fascinating point to end with. So thank you, and uh, thank you. Yeah, I'll look forward to more of your work. And um, thanks for talking to me and readers of Kairos. Talk <laughs> to you soon. <laughs> thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs>